そういうことです。しっけ。待って、ベッドで普通の父。<笑><笑> No, you now you're laying it on really thick, are you? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, what's up, everybody? We are on season 1, episode 12 of Spy Family, which is called Penguin Park. Man, I was so honestly eager to dive back into this show because I cannot express enough how happy I am, or how happy the show, I guess, really makes me, right? It's like coming off of, for example, an anime like Steins Gate not too long ago myself. I was very skeptical if, if I would ever find an anime that would be able to sort of capture me in the same way that it did. And then here I am, here goes anime once again surprising me in that regard because I start Spy Family and I feel like it's doing a very similar thing. The endearing cast of characters and particularly of course Anya. I don't need to stress this out because you've heard me talk about it for the past 11 episodes now, but um, it's so... Yeah, I, I could not be more happy, you know, with a show like this. And I feel like this is, this is what anime should be. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? At the same time, I'm not going to lie about it. My focus right now is not all there because I slept absolutely terribly last night. And believe it or not, it's all because of a mosquito, <laughs> which I felt was like so in line with the show. Uh, you know, with the one scene that we got of Mr. Elegant calling out how the mosquito... Did he say? I think he said that the, the mosquito was the biggest enemy of, of humans or whatever, right? Yesterday, I went to bed like all excited about the fact that I was going to binge a bunch of episodes of this show. And lo and behold, I wake up literally after like one and a half hours of sleep because there's a mosquito buzzing around me, right? And at first, I'm not honestly all there. I'm like still very sleepy, right? I'm like trying to hit it all around me and it's just not... It's not doing anything. I mean, obviously, my, my whole body is itching because the damn thing fucking stabbed me a bunch, of, <laughs> a bunch of times. And yeah, lo and behold, I basically find myself waking up and I'm like... For an hour, or, uh, an hour and a half, I feel like I'm trying to find this thing in my room and I can't... You know, every single time I gotta wait to hear it around me again and... Uh, it was such a long quest for me to basically get rid of the damn thing and then I went to bed and yeah, slept terribly, like I said. Didn't sleep that many hours at all, so... I'm not all there in terms of my focus, like I said, but I'm gonna try to react to this as best as I can. Probably not to, you know, watch too many episodes today because of that. But still, I'm excited to, you know, dive back in and see where we go from here. Like I said, this episode is called Penguin Park, so I wonder if we're going to like a zoo or something, or... Well, I guess a park in particular that uh, revolves around penguins then, I guess, right? But at the same time, we know, of course, that last episode, the progress that we made uh, is that Anya got her first Stella for rescuing the one kid who was drowning in the pool, right? Now, as a reward, she was talking about wanting to get a certain dog, right? That's the thing that she would come up with, which, well, it's, it's, I mean, <laughs> I could call it genius, but it's kind of like, in a way, it's kind of predictable, right? We're dealing with a family, so, you know, the family needs a pet at some point. So, <laughs> so I guess it all really does make sense that we're going to get a dog introduced to the cast here, and I'm looking forward to it. But the interesting scene, is, of course, is that we, we saw these two men, I think, talking at the shelter, and, um... And then we focused on the dog that I think Anya is wanting to get, probably. But yeah, there was some weird, like, the dog was um, seeing, like, a picture of the family. So I don't know what was going on in that moment, honestly. But I feel like there was supposed to be some deeper meaning there. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, honestly curious to see where that's all gonna go. I think for now I've done enough talking. We're just gonna dive into the episode at hand. But of course, guys, if you enjoy my reactions to Spy Family, then you can watch the next, um, yeah, well, 16 episodes. I mean, we finished season one by now over on Patreon. So go and catch up on all of that straight away. Season two is probably ongoing at this point. I don't know, might not be yet, but if it is, I will, of course, be reacting to it as the episodes air over on my Patreon page. So once again, go and check that out. Linked on top of the description. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. And then for now, let's dive into episode 12. Right, and I actually heard that this is simply supposed to uh, replicate, like, Germany back in the Cold War, right? East and West Berlin. I hadn't even caught on to that whatsoever. Okay. Another explosion. 
I guess he was looking for the suitcase. Mission complete, sure. Wow. I was gonna say, that's his, yeah, his biggest priority. I'm surprised he's still doing all the side quests here in the meantime. Oh, he's just kind of updating him on the progress. To be fair, we haven't made that that much progress yet, right? Well, I mean, finding a family was already <laughs> a task big enough, but... Continue acting as it. Well... <laughs> he wasn't used to the cigarette anymore. Yeah, she's still under that impression. Exactly. Anya knows. She's the smartest out of them all. Waka waka. <laughs> God damn it, man. I love this kid. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, she, honestly, she is scary. Again, you wonder how they would react if they knew each other's true identities. Yeah, the man is exhausted, just like me. Yeah, on top of that, we still have the brother. I wonder when he's coming back, Yuri. They're talking about him? Oh. Oh my god, really? You're just gonna spread rumors about him? Yeah, I guess Lloyd has been busy for the past couple weeks, huh? And he needs to keep up the act. Yeah. Immediately putting a change to that. I guess we're going to Penguin Park. <laughs> She's drawing one already. Do you pronounce it like Penguin in English? In Dutch, it's more like penguin. Yeah, look forward... <laughs> waka waka, yeah, look forward to the weekend. I notice how Japanese people, when they speak English, they always say, please look forward. <laughs> so I find it kind of funny to hear him say that. Dude, he can hardly stand on his legs, man. Well, immediately setting things straight there. <laughs> that, that outfit is so cute once again, man. Like a sailor's outfit. <laughs> and I've known them a long time, ever since I was born. It's completely normal. Yeah, well, she's she's learning. I remember the first episode. <laughs> no. <laughs> now you're laying it on really thick, Anya. Oh my god. <laughs> this shit is fantastic. Yo. Oh, summons. Wait, like, 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 he has a different mission again here. So that's what that uh, label was. Oh my god. Yeah, too fucking bad. Exactly, that's the top priority. You want him to focus on that, he needs to make sure that his pre tanned family actually looks like a real one. <laughs> Go out of business. 
すでに手を回していたとは恐れ入ったなあ。なあ、nah, how convenient is that? Intel. <laughs> He's still not wanting to go ahead with it, though, even if it is at the same place. Chemical weapon. <laughs> oh, man, tiny shark. I guess he has no choice but to... Yeah, pick it. Oh, they're here too. Oh, great. Well, we can't separate from them then. Man, I feel so bad for this guy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Yor. Okay, okay, so what, we gotta find the right penguin and, you know, open it up with a scalpel or what's it called? That's awesome. I've seen this kind of thing plenty of times at the zoo. Yeah, that's the question. Are they marked too? Well, they're all marked usually, but... Ah, uh, well, it could be the guy with the bucket, literally. Well, yeah, technically, his mission is kind of him bringing out his inner child. Oh! She's gonna use the telepathic abilities. Wow, she can even read. Okay. So if they get the dog, which we haven't. Oh, yeah, this one. Can breathe. Why would that be? Maybe because there's a goddamn capsule and it's... Yeah, throat. Uh, I guess we're pretending. Or is it the guy with the bucket? So is it... Okay, it is Lloyd, right? He just dressed up. Oh yeah, he put the real okay, he put the real guy in a locker. But if this was his first day, how could that not have been possibly the terrorist himself? Oh, does he know? What the hell? Yeah, I guess he's used to that, but... I mean, can he, can he read the, the marks? Barls. The Emperor Penguin. Meryl <laughs> blocking the path. Uh, you probably want to throw that bucket. He's gonna be mad at him, though. Yeah, the <laughs> This is becoming a real mathematical exercise. Figuring out the right strategy to get to the penguin we need to get to. Controlling the masses, yep. Nah, man, he's a, he's a skilled new employee. Yeah, you do that. Yo, the guy that he locked up in the locker is literally gonna be happy because he's gonna get a raise straight away. <laughs> this is the best thing that happened to him. Yep. Well, it's shining, you know, it's uh, what we need. Oh, shit. 
Well, the fact that he observed is definitely suspicious. And nope. Is, is he about to pull the gun? Okay. Oh, oh shit! Expose them on the spot. Yeah. Okay. Well, he did have a gun. Oh my god, yeah, this is becoming complicated, dude. As Anya. Looking from a distance. Oh man, yeah, I mean, we gotta hope that the whole situation here doesn't explode and, you know... There could be like an outright firefight here eventually. <laughs> I'm being kidnapped by holding on to the gun. Hmm. <laughs> Kick the damn teeth out of his mouth. You saw that? <laughs> He's like stuck in the ceiling. Nah, nah. That was good enough. <laughs> wow. Oh, what a fantastic side mission this is. Oh my god. Yeah, he's cheating at the fucking penguin park. Oh my god, shut the... Sorry, guys. I'm getting mad. <laughs> uh, you better believe it. Don't mess with this family, man. This shit is so, so good. Holy shit, I can't get over it. <laughs> Dolphin show. Can you pet them? <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? This guy is about to give the or get the biggest raise he could possibly get. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> she always makes that sound. Oh shit. Yeah, you better eat the, the peanuts, uh, dolls. Oh, of course she's gonna do it herself. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm watching right now. Introducing the whole thing to a dolls. Yep. <laughs> no, don't play in on the insecurities once again. Trust that lackeys. I mean, I'm kind of almost worried that there's going to be something in the plushie, but Lloyd got it himself, so I'm sure that he took careful notice. <laughs> they can cover. Oh shit, that's the room where... Oh okay, that's just their room. I mean, yeah, wasn't this where Anya found the one device on the first episode? Was it in Lloyd's room? <laughs> Yeah, even if you're just playing around. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta keep her happy too. Ooh, is this a way of manipulating them to actually see some of their secret stuff? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, maybe it's just genuine. Wow. Oh, that's so... That's so cute, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. Well, you're doing a great job at that. Peace was restored. Beautiful, man. What an episode. I loved it. Alright guys, well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can watch me finish Season 1 straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. I love that, man. These episodes might just as well sort of be the, the most standout thing about the show. Like, I'm kind of noticing a bet on there, right? Where sometimes we get these almost sort of side quests that go on. I mean, I'm thinking about the one fake mission that they pretended to be on remember with uh frankie and stuff taking part in the big castle back in episode five it might have been that was of course the dodgeball game not too long ago at all uh which in the end wasn't really yeah like didn't really serve much of a purpose there was no stellar to be received there or you know earned whatsoever but it was still fun and then this is kind of um yeah up there again i mean there was of course a reason for the whole mission basically from Lloyd's perspective which is that he needed to solidify the family identity a lot more uh, because yeah all these 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 neighbors were basically gossiping about them and um, mentioning how Lloyd wasn't really there for them a lot recently right oddly relatable to what I just talked about myself you know being like tired as hell <laughs> Lloyd was basically the exact same way this episode because he's been taking on a lot of missions and it's kind of, I mean, it does seem to be wearing him down, you know? I wonder if that's still going to be a recurring thing later on or something that the show will focus on more because, I don't know, he might sort of be just carrying a bit too much at the moment, you know? It's like he's carrying basically the whole fate of these nations on his on his back. I mean, he already was with this mission because it's by far the most important missions, uh, mission that he's doing. But I kind of can't believe that the organization that he works for is still expecting him then to do a bunch of different things in the meantime because it's just it's going to be too much for him you know what i mean um yeah other than that i don't really know what else i can say about this episode like honestly what surprised me about it was like the last four minutes where we saw them uh yeah focusing on like aya just playing with the dolls really sweet and wholesome but then uh also of course lloyd and you're there <laughs> basically to make up uh, well, they're just learning real life lessons. They're learning to be a real family, which is, of course, what we've been seeing happen already um, the entire way through. But it's like it just adds new steps on top of that, where now they genuinely made Anya distressed for a, for the first time there, really, I feel, uh, in a way that had not really happened yet. And then, <laughs> you know, just with the, with the dolls and stuff, pretending like they're real, uh, yeah, getting her to... To, to, well, to get cheered up again, I guess, right? Which was really, really nice to see. Um, the mission itself at the at the park was cool too. I love how it played out exactly how I figured with like the one guy getting the raise. Uh, <laughs> and like I said, it's like, oh yeah, him actually getting knocked unconscious and being put in a locker there was probably the best thing that could have happened to him because look where he ended up now. Although, well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he, he might have a hard time now uh, living up to that to that new, well, chief status, I guess. But then again, I mean, I don't know, maybe he's going to be able to just <laughs> fake his way out of it. And uh, yeah, because he is the chief, they're not even really going to be looking at him much anymore like that, right? Uh, you know, looking if he's actually qualified for the job because he's already technically proven himself. It's just up to him now to lead the others, I guess, right? But I'm looking way too much into that. Anyway, guys, that was my reaction to episode 12 of Spy Family. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if you did, you can watch me finish season one straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, we're also going to be watching season two as it airs. So make sure you go and join it. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. And then with that being said, I want to thank you all a lot for tuning in. and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.